concerns. Thank you very much, Madam Chair, for an opportunity to join in the chorus of opposition to this amendment bill, which quite frankly is amendment for amendment's sake. Um, based on um, an ideology that um, does not work, um, it's on the back of um, several years of review undertaken by the previous uh, government uh, in 2010, um, the Workforce Advisory Group um, report, which looked into the failings of the um, previous council. Um, it was found that uh, the profession was not being held in high esteem and certainly um, on the back of some crim criminal activity that screening um, of teachers was not at a place that it should be um, given teachers are responsible for some of our most vulnerable and impressionable in our community. And with that, Madam Chair, I refer to um, part one, and in, in particular uh, uh, clause five, which looks to amend uh, section uh, 380. And that goes to the composition of the Teaching Council. Uh, it refers to there being six members um, appointed by the Minister, and then in uh, clause uh, 381B goes on to describe in a very prescriptive manner um, the makeup of the seven elected members. Now, what I know from my time um, on the committee, I'm, I'm no longer um, part of the Workforce, uh, sorry, Education and Workforce Select Committee, but certainly what I know from my time on that committee, um, from the submitters, and from my own work as an electorate MP, is that when I go to visit teachers, the most common issue is that they want to be recognised for their expertise, they want their profession to be held in high esteem, they want to be recognised uh, for the work that they do in shaping uh, the hearts and young minds of our future. And to do that, uh, through the workforce review, we wanted to lift the bar. And the way to do that is to make sure that any representative body has the excellence represented on it. That we have the skills um, and the expertise available to drive the profession forward. We're not talking about looking at deficits. We're talking about driving the profession forward to innovate and make sure that we obtain excellence in our teaching. Now, in Clause 381B, in an ideal world, if we could get excellence throughout all of that prescription, that would be fantastic. Um, but the reality is, is that we will not. We need to have a level of oversight over the expertise and competencies that come on to the Council so as to get the best results uh, for teaching moving forward. It's like in this Parliament, Madam Chair. Uh, we want diversity because diversity brings about um, the best decision making. And so what we need to do is make sure that we have those core competencies represented um, on, on the Council. Not a prescription of people that hold certain positions, but an emphasis on core competencies. And again, back to uh, the issue about creating robust systems that mean that any criminal behaviour um, or screening of teachers is completed in a fair um, but, but very decisive uh, manner to make sure that nobody of ill character gets through to end up teaching and being um, in control um, of our children uh, moving forward. So this bill um, won't achieve that. It won't achieve excellence in the sector, and it's certainly taking us backwards 
uh, to where we were prior to the 2010 review. I call um, Joe Luxton. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. It's a pleasure to stand and take a call. Uh, this